What's up guys, Bacon Bevo here. Today we're gonna to be doing January's goals as well as talking about uh, last month, so December's goals, and if we hit those, and if we exceeded those, and if we and talk about why we didn't hit them if we didn't. Um, so let's start with going uh, with December's goals. What we wanted to do is we wanted to get to 310 plus follows on Twitter, um, post four videos on YouTube, and get to 3,100 follows on Twitch. Uh, we did actually break the uh, 310 follows on Twitter. We got to 323. That's what we're sitting at now. Um, and then on YouTube, we ended up only posting three videos instead of four. Unfortunately, just it's hard to do for me. Um, I'm not super familiar with the editing software and all these things. So when I was streaming 10 hour days, it's really hard to take those and then edit those down and still be able to uh, function the next day and be able to do, be able to relax and do everything else uh, for me. Um, we ended up hitting the 3k um, follows in the month, which is great. And we actually beat our goal for 3,100 follows on the 14th. That's when we passed it. Um, we're sitting at 3,134, I believe, um, which is really cool. We would have gotten higher, except for on the 17th, I went to Oregon, celebrated the, the holidays um, with my family, and uh, just streaming setup there was not good. Couldn't, couldn't do as much as I thought I could do. We ended up being able to record one video with Moores and doing Gang Beast with him, and it was really cool, and that's on the YouTube, so if you wanna check that out, you definitely should. Um, but that's basically a recap of December. So I want to thank you guys for December because that was a month where I streamed for like the first half of it and a lot for the first half. I think we ended up getting 160 hours streamed in 16 total days because I left on the 17th. Um, and to pass those goals without having the rest, the other half of the month is incredible. So thank you guys for that. Uh, but going into January's goals, I want to try and do 350 uh, follows on Twitter, which is adding about 30. Um, that's going to be hard because I don't understand Twitter. Pe I don't. I honestly don't get it. Like, I don't know if I should be hashtagging more. I try and stay as interactive as possible. I post as much as I can. Um, I don't know if it's what I'm posting. Um, maybe I don't. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to try and figure out Twitter. So that's another goal for the month: is get to 350 and figure out how Twitter works. Um, I want to get to 140 subs on YouTube. That's adding 11 subs. It doesn't seem too hard, but I do need to start posting videos. So that's going to be the biggest challenge is learning the editing software and figuring out exactly, you know, what my style is on YouTube. Um, I want to get to 3,500 followers on Twitch. I think that that's a, a goal that's pretty easy to do as long as I can stream. Um, but just so you guys know, this month is going to be incredibly crazy um i'm gonna have to get a job or we're gonna break the lease we haven't figured out what that's gonna be um i want i would rather break the lease but we'll have to we'll have to figure that out um but that's it's just gonna be weird because before i was didn't have a job t twitch was my job you know for that time being and it was i was able to stream 10 hours now some of those days still might come, but it's not going to be the same. It's probably going to go back to, you know, five hour streams at night or in the morning, depending on what my schedule is um, for whatever job I get. Or it could be a crazy month if we break the lease and it would be a lot of cleaning and, you know, packing and getting everything ready to leave and then going home. And who knows how much time I'll actually have to stream during that period. Um, you guys know that it was crazy in September when I moved to Colorado. And most of you guys know that it didn't work out here in Colorado, so now we want to move back. Um, but those are my goals. And again, like I was saying in, in the past video, this is really important to me that I set these goals. And it's really important to me that you guys keep me accountable for these goals. Uh, like Maybe it's on the 8th and you're like, hey, dude, you haven't posted one uh, one YouTube video. Or maybe it's you know the, the 30th and you're like, dude, you've been only streaming like an hour. Like you've only streamed an hour this week or something like that or you haven't tweeted at all, just keep me accountable. Tell me, you know, what I'm doing wrong and give me advice on how to do it right and what you guys think is doing it right. I don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers, but together we might be able to come up with a solution. Um, but without, uh, before ending the video, I would like to say, you know, thank you guys so much for December and hopefully you guys had a great holiday season. You guys got to hang out with your family and friends and eat some good food and get some presents or whatever you guys do for the holiday seasons. I hope it was fantastic. I know mine was great. Um, 
unfortunately, you know, having two weeks off was was hard to, to do, but it was really cool to spend the time with my family. So I appreciate you guys understanding that and knowing that um, that I was going to come back and everything is going to be the exact same. Um, one more thing for January is that I'm going to change things up. I'm not just going to play random games um, every day. I'm going to set certain days to, uh, to a specific genre of game or to a certain um, platform. Meaning, on Monday, we're going to do Mobile Mondays. So I'm either going to do League of Legends, uh, Heroes of the Storm, and Paladins. One of those three. Um, I might switch in between those three on those days, or I might just pick one and stream that the whole day. So there will be a little bit more randomness uh, between the games, but not between genre of games. So I'm not going to just bounce around all day. Um, Tuesdays, I'm going to do Terror Tuesdays, so horror games on those days. We can do Five Nights. We can do uh, Emily Wants to Play. We can, you know, play rehash other horror games, but keep keep a, a horror game genre uh, or a horror genre so that we can uh, everyone knows what they're going to get into on Tuesday. So that knows if you guys don't like horror games, then maybe don't tune in on Tuesday or um, you know something like that. On Wednesday, we're going to do Wii U Wednesday. So I just got Splatoon. We have Mario Kart. We have Super Smash Bros. We have uh, Super Mario Maker. We have all, all different sorts of games that we can play on that platform. And I know that that has been successful in the past, so I want to keep that going. Thursday, I believe, is going to be the most random day because that's going to be my day that I get to choose uh, what games we're going to play. Um, Rocket League, you know, CSGO, things like that. For some reason on Twitter, you guys said you guys like to watch first-person shooters. Could have fooled me. Every time I play any first-person shooter, you guys don't really seem to like it as much as other like simulation games like Sims or Fallout or, um, you know, just any other genre of game, really. For, for my stream anyway um then on friday i was either gonna do like a, a fan pick day um or so, you know something like that some something where you guys choose a game and then i play with follows uh followers um that's like I, I don't mind playing with followers on other days but this would be specifically set up so that anyone can play um and like let's say people who usually play with me like nadro castle bunny or uh, you guys like you guys would be able to play like one game and then we'd have to rotate out and um and pick new people um and saturday i was going to do sim saturday so you guys will still get a fill of sims that has been probably my most successful game other than dead realm dead realm was really good um but that's died off and sims seems to still people love the sims and i like playing the sims it's really fun so that's going to be a designated day and then on sunday we're going to do storyline sunday so i'd pick like a, a storyline game like kingdom hearts um like last of us until dawn fall like stuff games like that and we would play that game on sunday if we don't beat it then we play it again the next sunday and we continue playing it until we beat it so that you, way anyone who tunes in you guys will get the full storyline uh, uh of that game so so that it's not i've noticed that a lot of people will stream a storyline game and they'll play for five hours not beat it and then they'll never play it again and the people who really like to watch it because they wanted to know how it was going to end um they don't get that and then maybe they have to go watch somebody else or maybe no one else is streaming it so that's what we're going to do on sunday so that's going to be a little bit of a change we'll see how that goes and then in february if it's not working out um we'll change it back up to just you know rng games just anything any day whatever randomness that uh we want to do but Again, thank you guys so much for December. Let's kick ass in January. Let's get up. Uh, my biggest goal of the year, and this is one thing that I really wanted to say, was I'm going to apply for partnership in June. Um, so that gives us six, or I guess five months, January, February, March, April, and May to get to a point where, you know, hopefully we can get partnered. I want to be partnered by the next TwitchCon. If it doesn't end up uh, happening in June, then I will apply in August. So that gives us another two months. But uh, I would like to be... I need to be partnered by next TwitchCon. It's a personal goal, and I think it's a good community goal that we should have. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for December. Let's kick ass in January, and let's go kill it.